Uh, hello, hello, Boridar, good morning, welcome back. Uh, so I'm actually doing a bit, bit of live painting today, as it is. Uh, so what I'm painting here today is um, the Steam Dome of Linda, which is one of the 04240 uh, now um, mainline quarry hunslets as operated by the Festinial Railway. And I'm trying to capture the, the dome is very, 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 very highly polished uh, brass um and it literally in the picture i've got that i'm working from it it's sort of shining like gold you know it's it's, it's that level of polish uh, and that's quite hard to capture uh with um paint uh i mean you know you, if you said what color is it well it's gold it, then yeah but it's really tons and tons of shades of color all sort of blending together so i'm just trying to get the, the main colors of the dome going now um, this is, uh, the top bit is so shiny. I mean, you could argue that I could possibly use a little bit of silver paint on here just to sort of give it an extra tiny bit of glow in a minute, and I may do that. Um, basically, I'm using white here to sort of try and get the very sort of top uh, colour. This is actually quite a thick white paint I'm using. Um, it sort of had a, well, I actually squirted it out last night. Um, so it's been sort of sitting for a little bit this paint so it's had a bit of time to sort of get some real oomph to it because white the trouble with white if it's a bit watery it doesn't always pick out uh doesn't always go over other colors it'll often blend into the background i'm just going to do a bit of dab in here so i want to kind of create there's a little bit of a, a ping in the shade in here and there's a little bit of a sort of streak of shade here and then round the base of the dome where the angle is sharper again it's picking up that white paint all across there um, so lots of white are here now i'm gonna do a tiny bit more there and a little bit more up the top and i'm going to move to a different color so at the moment i'm only i'm operating with uh four different shades of brownie yellow uh so from yellow up to quite a dark brown uh, obviously I've got the white here. The entire dome was done with a base coat of gold. Um, I quite like using a little bit of metallic paint just to sort of pick out odd bits, adds a little bit of de uh, glow to it, I find. But you often almost end up painting over almost all of it because, uh, you, you know, to get the reflections, you need the sort of sharper, brighter colours um, of the whites and what have you. So see plenty of white on here now the streaks in the dome are going to be the sort of harder bit to paint so i'm just mixing in some colors here now the streaks are sort of coming down this bit this is where the light is obviously catching the dome at different angles um different the different angles of the dome that's probably a bit much that there but that's okay so that is a sort of starting measure a bit of brightness here just going to try and take that back a little bit with some of this one I just edge there we are edging the colours back a little um down towards there this bit's sort of coming up towards here this is where the sort of overall reflection of the dome is coming across a bit of curvature of the dome here so the curvature is quite important you can sort of see that i'm painting it in a slight curvy arc as i'm going dragging some more white down here to just try and pick out those colours white very much going to be important here uh, probably going to need a bit of yellow in a second as well. So there's some of the reflection coming down. Just going to need to wipe the brush in a second. So at the moment I'm basically sort of blending the colours by not wiping the brush. Um, which can be quite effective. Also can get a bit messy is where it is getting to at the moment. So I'm just going to pick some of this back off. You go back up to the white in the top corner here. Uh, Call it corner, can't be called it corner, it's a round thing. The top area of the dome, let's call it area. Corner sounds, yeah. You just put, put, uh, put a man in a round room and tell him to go and we in the stand in the corner. There we are. Um, more polite. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, just getting this whole sort of shape coming on here, a little bit more glow around the top there. Now the front edge of the dome, again, it's just sort of all a bit reflections. I'm going to try a bit of yellow on this bit, I think, just to sort of pick that bit out. Sort of see the 
pattern of the reflective lights come in together a bit now bit too much yellow there at the front certainly so I'm going to need to tone that back a little toning back at this stage is quite easy that's just sort of spreading the paint out a little bit wiping a little bit off I mean I'm quite nicely now I'm getting quite, quite pleased with where this is going uh, a bit more white down here at the bottom basically the white is going to right up to the edge of the where the dome meets the paintwork uh, then there's like the most tiny slither of, of visible green and then it's back into the reflection of the dome onto the the tank where the tank is also um, being a preserved engine the tank is very very well uh, cleaned and polished gonna need to just adjust the edge there as I've gone slightly over um, partly I have to say it's because I've got a tripod in the way uh, so I'm painting with my tripod in the picture now uh, I should also say here I'm gonna hopefully post this video to Instagram um if it'll fit but i also put it on my youtube channel which is uh i think it's benny paul acrylics i haven't uh, uploaded all that much to it yet um should try and get a bit more active i'm obviously trying to establish a social media profile and everything else um you know get yourself known and what have you also if you would care to uh if you do go on the youtube please like and subscribe if you're seeing this on Instagram, please follow me. It'd be, uh, be much appreciated. Obviously, it keeps uh, updated on all the work that I'm doing, um, which is hopefully uh, quite exciting. I've got a few projects coming up. Um, obviously, I'm finishing off, I'll finish off Linda, and then I've got another couple of engines I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are yet. I've um, got two narrow gauge ones to work on uh, for a couple of shows that are coming up. And uh, yeah, so you know, a couple of those to go. Just smear this around a bit at the top. You can see there it's sort of yeah, coming along nicely. Now I'm gonna want, my white paint is getting a bit mixed up now with the other colors. So I'm probably gonna to need to put a bit of fresh white out in a second. And I am gonna try just a tiny little bit of silver, just to add a little tiniest bit of reflective, reflective light up in the top area here. I think I possibly want a tiny bit more white here as well. The one side of the dome definitely looks more shiny is getting more shine than the other and there's also a little bit of dark streakiness just where it's catching the light in different ways different things shining off the dome uh in the picture i'm looking at the the engine sort of in quite a sort of shady area so some of it uh, is probably the trees being reflected on the on the dome here uh still a tiny bit this slightly more reddish one some colour here. Sort of see how it's beginning. There we are. It's probably a little bit strong there, so I'm just going to dampen that one down a touch. We need some more purish white on the top. Wash off the brush. First time I've actually done that since I started this video. Um, take my brush out. Let's get a dab of very pure white for the top of the dome. Very top, very just pure white, no other colours in there at all. Just dabbing this one in here, dabbing the tone. There's a little blob there, let's get that out. Uh, the dried paint, there we are. very strong white for the top. And I don't think no, my silver paint isn't at hand, so I'm not going to do the silver right now. But there we are, we can sort of see the reflections and colours of the dome all sort of coming together. Um, quite hard painting, I find quite a sort of challenge to paint a very reflective surface and get it looking like uh, you're getting the reflections of the light on it. Uh, it's one of the things I actually really, although it's challenging, I really enjoy it when it's when I'm doing it and I enjoy it when it comes together. It makes for a lovely, uh, you know, quite an effective uh, way of making your engines or whatever you're painting um, look quite quite nice so this is a nice sort of shiny surface to be reflecting in um, and you can just sort of see there's a slightly darker streak where the light is or the light from the the, the, uh, the camera angle is not from the picture I'm doing is not really sort of picking up on this side of the engine so much so this side I'm just going to thin out thin it back area up a bit is going in there there we go there we are so I think 
for now at least i'm going to leave this video there um i think you can sort of see that it's coming coming along quite nicely actually i'm quite pleased with how the reflections are looking there's still, still a little bit to do especially down the sort of bottom edge of the uh of the paintwork but there we go anyway hopefully uh, there was something useful or interesting in there if you're painting yourself or if you're just following seeing how the progress is going uh, thank you, uh, as I say, for watching and subscribing and liking and uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, Benny underscore uh, Benny underscore Powell underscore Acrylics and uh, Benny Powell Acrylics on uh, YouTube as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Au revoir. Goodbye.